What is up people and welcome to the weekly vlog, how are we doing? This week we are doing a performance review of the Puma Nitro DV8 which I'm currently wearing. We are out on a 16 mile run and we'll be coming back on a performance review of them. Uh, once we get this run done, also this week I'm going to be answering some of your questions. So I'm going to get this run done, then we're going to head back to HQ, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Good morning people and welcome to another week of marathon training. So this video, we're gonna be giving these, yep, the Puma, a uh, 16 mile performance run. Then when we get back, we're gonna be talking about those and we're gonna be doing a Q and A. Toby's here as always, so we're gonna be heading out. We're probably, what, Gunpowder Park? Gunpowder Park and then we're gonna gun it back. See what I did there with the link? Right, we're gonna get this run done. Performance review coming up, Q and A at the end. Let's get stuck in. people look check it out i still think this looks one of the best shoes of 2021 i just think it looks awesome but anyway i enjoyed that and you know what um we'll come on to that in a second the uh, puma i'm really lucky that i've been able to run with toby throughout this lockdown i don't know about you let me know in the comments have you got a running buddy that you've been running with um during lockdown or wherever you are in the world um, because it's really it's really helped with my motivation I'm lucky like as I said I, before with like running with Eddie and, and all the other local guys from like Broxbourne Club and when we were able to do that together down the river but I don't know it's just been fab running with Toby not only is he 10 years younger Toby just um, get that on the channel again but he's that little bit faster than me he's he, he's just he's able to hold those sort of faster paces and for me training it really really helps me out um sort of pushes me along that little bit more so that's great and i say it's just yeah i've been really enjoying it really enjoying running with him let me know in the comments um is there someone that you go out and run with right so that's 16 miles done um it was good fun. The weather was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It made a change. It wasn't raining, but the weather was fab. I really enjoyed it. Oh, question for you guys. Um, Tesco Classic Cola or the real thing? Let me know which one you prefer. Uh, that's a serious question because I absolutely love a can of Coke after a run. Um, I, always, I always have my active route and all that sort of stuff, but I just have a craving for a cold can of Coke after a run. Let me know in the comments. Do you? Right, so... Puma DV8 Nitro, how did it do on this long run? Let's find out. Okay, so uh, hopefully you've seen the video I've already done on the Puma DV8 Nitro, but I thought it'd be cool actually this weekend uh, to take one um, out on one of the longer runs, um, mainly because now we're in that period of marathon training where I'm switching it up a gear, so um, I'll be using some of the sort of, uh, not right, yeah, probably racier day shoes, so like the speeds of this world and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I really wanted the opportunity to put the Nitro into this run. Uh, one, because we needed to do a performance review. But two, because I knew that we would be picking up the pace during that run, that longer run, I wanted to see how it would perform. Because I've been using this shoe mostly um, for my sort of um, medium tempo work, I would say. So those sort of runs where I'm looking at running at goal pace, where or I'm doing a progressive run, that sort of stuff is where... I've really been using the shoe um, and it's been a real joy to run in. But that's why I wanted to take it out today on this sort of longer run with this specific 
uh, goal in mind to see actually how it would handle it. And that's why I thought I'd put it into the video this week. But let's get some of the stats and features. We'll quickly reverse and go back over those very, very briefly. Um, so the shoe, when it comes out, will be 130, 536 pounds. It's about 10 ounces. Uh, it's got a nine mil drop, I think, eight mil drop. You've got the nitro foam, which is a nitrogen infused foam. That's the way they uh, make the foam. So it's slightly different to like an, um, a normal, let's say, EVA uh, foam. You've got a, um, now I'm going to get this, I think it's called Inno plate in it, which is a carbon infused plate, which uh, helps you sort of snap through the shoe. And if you look, it's very rigid in the toe. Uh, and then we've got a TPU uh, plate, or insert, sorry, at the back to add stability. We've got a very, very similar to the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2 upper. Uh, minimalistic tongue. No real padding uh, around the heel, so to speak, but in the, around the ankle, there are some bits of foam just to lock the ankle in because this shoe does suffer a little bit with heel slippage if you don't lock them down. Uh, in, in regards to uh, fit, it's true to size. Um, I've had no problems. The UK 9.5 and, and it fits like a glove. And I've really, really enjoyed running in this shoe. And actually, I've just seen my phone flash out. I'm going to switch my phone off. Um, <laughs> this made me remind me to do it. You know when you come back from a run, you, I don't know about you, but I forget to do everything. But anyway, so that's the sort of stats and features on the shoe. And as I say, it, it, I would definitely recommend you check out the other video I've done on it. Okay, so before we get into the Q&A part of the video, um, let's uh, go over how the shoe did today on this sort of longer run and give you a bit of a performance uh, review of the shoe. Um, like I said earlier, I've been mainly using this up to, up to this point on those sort of medium tempo paced runs. It really does go through the gears very, very well. And I said in my original video, it's much like, or it reminds me, actually, better way of saying it, of the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. Yes, it's a lot heavier, but it's got that sort of flavor to it. Um, and because you've got the addition of the plate with the with the foam, it's just a great, great combination and it really works well. I, I've really enjoyed running in it, really enjoyed running in it. Um, and today it was excellent. I didn't feel the weight, um, not that it's like heavy because it's still only 10 ounces. The breathability was super. It was a warmer day today, the fit, was great. Yes, there have been problems with heel slippage, but I've found that basically if I pull in here and lock it down, I don't seem to slip around too much in it. The stability is not a problem for me. The outsole is fantastic on this. There's, there's, you know, they could have sh um, shaved weight off the shoe and not put so much rubber on it, but actually I'm pleased that they have because it's, it's really gripping well out on those roads. It's fantastic. There's the plate, by the way. So I think as a... As a shoe that offers something different, I think this is brilliant. I think this is a really, really good alternative to your Nikes of this world. Um, and by the way, we need to talk about that shoe. That's another video, but we need to talk about that shoe. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a fantastic alternative to your usual sort of shoes that you would go to. It can do everything. It's a fantastic daily trainer. It can do that up-tempo work. It can do... Yeah, pretty much everything you throw at it. And, and it just shows today you can go out and you can bag 16 miles. You know, I, this is a shoe that you could run a marathon in. This is a shoe that you could run a fast half marathon in. It literally can do the lot. Um, I've been super, super impressed with this shoe. I really have. And I think Puma have absolutely nailed it with this. Yes, the shoe could be lighter. Yes, you may get a few problems with heel slippers if you don't do it. But overall, I think, I really do think it's it's... It's one of the best shoes of 2021 so far. Okay, so Q&A. I promised you at the start of this video that we'd be doing a Q&A. Uh, I thought this would be cool to do um, because uh, I've not had the chance to do one of these for ages. We used to do these uh, uh, quite a lot uh, a while ago and I'll try and do a few more of these. And if you want to put um, in for the next what, video we do on this sort of Q&A, then put it in the comments below with a, uh, with a Q. And then I will look, uh, when I go down into the comments, I'll hunt them out and I'll take a note of all the questions and then I'll go through them in another video and we'll do it like that um, just to come back on some of the questions. So um, these questions are from Instagram and from the Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, then join us um, at the 40 Rounds Running Community on Facebook. And if you're not on Instagram, you can follow me at 40 underscore runs. 
um, as well. So make sure you do that as well. But yeah, so these questions came in via this. Um, there was loads, so thank you very much to everybody um, who, um, uh, what's it called? It's right. My, you know, I said you was going to turn my phone off. I didn't. Um, who, who came in and put some questions in? Right, let's get back to get back to track. Right, so, and also, I just remembered, I've got to uh, give a big shout out to Phil Brown out in guitar. Um, you know why? Mad love to you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Phil Brown, thank you very much. Um, right, okay, so let's get into the QA. Right, so I'm going to go through these 15 questions. I pulled out 15 questions that I thought I could bat through pretty fast. Um, and where do we start? Okay, so I've wrote them down and we'll go through these as quick as I can, but also giving as much detail as possible. So the first question is... Okay, so favourite shoe. This was a popular question. Favourite shoe. Now, I didn't know, um, you guys, whether this was favourite shoe of 2021 or favourite shoe overall. Uh, or whatever. So I thought I'd actually answer it uh, with two shoes, if that's okay. Um, my favorite shoe is still the Glide Ride, even though Glide Ride 2's on its way. And for those asking, I'm expecting that in March to come out here in the UK. Um, and hopefully I'll get a pair. Um, and the other one is obviously the Skechers Razor 3. You guys know how much I love that shoe. Uh, the 3 Plus is there. Uh, I know I'm digging that and the Razor Elite. But my favorite is still the 3, even though mine has got almost no rubber on the sole. But the Glide Ride and the Skechers Razor 3. Now this was a good question, will races return? Um, slightly political, slightly sort of outside of the realm, but I can understand why, you, why you're thinking along that lines. I personally think they will. Um, I'm, as always, the optimist. So uh, I've got a marathon booked in April, at the start of April. Let's, you know, let's just wait and see what happens. Who knows what's going to happen uh, with, in terms of mass scale events and all that sort of stuff. But I'm really, really positive about everything in the world with the vaccinations and all that sort of stuff. I don't really want to get into that. But yeah, I, in terms of races and events, I, I am very, very positive. The guys at the London Marathon know what they're doing. Um, that's in October. There's so many races and events at the end of the year. I do think they're going to go ahead. I just hope that we carry on on the path that we are with everybody getting vaccinated, everybody being well and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I, I'm super keen and I do think that they will return this year. Okay, next up, best way to stay motivated uh, within a training plan. Um, some training plans can be a bit monotonous and they're like, oh, go and run 30 minutes, go and run 20 minutes, go and run 5K, go and run long run. Um, what I like to do with my clients uh, is give them sort of mini goals and the runs, different runs, they have different strategies. So whether it be run, you know, a certain pace or, or certain element. So like just even on a long run, you know, mixing it up with different elements of pace, you know, chucking in some speed at the end or, you know, just make it a, a fun session in the week. So again, just, but also chopping and changing different sessions every week. So just because it's a speed session doesn't mean you have to go out and run a tempo run, you know, mix it up. Um, with different stuff. And I think that can really help with the motivation during. Obviously, you've got to remember why you're doing it. Um, but yeah, I think just keeping it fresh, keeping it, you know, keeping it new, keeping it exciting, um, changing up those runs, changing up what you're doing within that plan can keep you motivated. There's nothing worse than just going and running the same route, change your routes, that's another way. Or if you can't change your routes, run them backwards. Um, but yeah, mix up your runs, mix up your routes, all that sort of stuff within your plan, that'll help you stay motivated. Alternative fuel for long runs. Questions come up loads of times and it always comes up. Um, I did a video on natural ways to fuel your runs. Check that out. There's loads of stuff in there from like jam sandwiches, baby food, uh, jelly babies, all that sort of stuff. Check that out. If gels don't work for you, watch that video. Uh, I put it together um, it's quite a while ago, but check that out. There's loads of stuff in there. The shoe I'm most looking forward to in 2021. Um, hmm. Vaporfly 2, probably. Yeah, probably the Vaporfly 2. Glide Ride 2, obviously. Uh, Evo Ride 2 as well. Um, really love the Evo Ride. Uh, but yeah, Glide Ride 2, Vaporfly 2. The Speed 2 to a degree, just to see what the updates they do to it, because it's such an amazing shoe. Um, but also whether... Nike do anything with the Alpha Fly? I'm not saying they will. I've got no idea. 
whether they do anything there. That'd be interesting to see as well. Okay, so next up, recommendations for alternate training, alternate training on rest days. Alternate training. Um, I guess you're talking about cross training stuff like that. So uh, Pilates is awesome. Yoga we know is good. Um, smash a, a hit session from YouTube. We've got one. Uh, we've got a yoga one as well, actually. Stuff like that. Um, why the gyms aren't open uh, and all that sort of stuff, then it's hard. Uh, personally, swimming for me is amazing cycling obviously but even going for like a, a, a decent walk a well-paced walk you know go out and walk for a decent amount of time but at a good pace that'll do you just as good so yeah they're the sort of things that i recommend to my guys for like cross training and stuff like that. i hope that helps here's an interesting question should i eat before my evening long runs now this is a question that's quite interesting because a lot of people they do their longer runs early on like a weekend um but this, I can't remember his name, um, was asking because he run, does his long runs in the evening, which must be really tough. I would, I would recommend, yes, if, you're, if you are going out to do a long run, I, I do think it's a good idea to fuel. Me personally, my long runs, I don't fuel unless if I'm running, unless I am running over, sorry, 22 kilometres. Uh, so far, I'm going to take 13 miles. Uh, I will run 13 miles staff. That's just the way I am. But if I was running it in the evening, then I would probably fuel even if I was running the 30 miles because I'd be tired. Uh, I'd have obviously been using up calories during the day um, just from working and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I would fuel. Um, sounds silly, but I would probably, me personally, if I was running in the evening, I'd still go and have a bowl of porridge at like three o'clock. Do you know what I mean? Because I know it works for me. So... Yeah, I'd probably have a bowl, of, bowl of, a bowl of porridge and some coffee um, because that's what I normally have. So I would do exactly what I would normally do, but I'd just do it at three o'clock. Um, so, yeah, I would fuel 100%. Um, yeah, and you've got to be mindful of it, especially when you're out uh, and you're out uh, running as well. The fact that you are taking on fuel if that's, you know, you're going over those sort of big distances. This is quality. Will you be getting Mrs. Faldy some new scales? If you've not seen, <laughs> if you've not seen any of the videos, Mrs. Faldy's got these like cooking scales, and I keep nicking them to weigh the shoes because I like to weigh the shoes because in UK nine and a half to give you the sizing, um, and her <laughs> scales are downstairs. And I keep nicking them. And then what tends to happen is that I leave them up here. And then when I go back downstairs, they've all got like muddle and stuff all over them. Um, so will I be getting Mrs. Foley some? Maybe I could get that for her birthday. What is my half marathon PB? Uh, check the video. 130, was it 138 and 55 or 139? Whatever it was. But we did that on the track. 50 something laps. I did it on track. We did a bit of filming. Um, do I think I can beat it? Yes but watch the video. Best 10K shoe. Um, I did a video on this. Uh, check the video out. Will I do live streams? That is a very interesting question. Um, and the other one, actually, there's a sort of similar sort, and it's not actually one of the ones I included, but now you've made me think about it, um, was about podcasts. Will I do a podcast? To be perfectly honest with you, I do not have time. <laughs> I don't have time to even, well, to be honest with you, I don't even have time to sit down and do this. I, I, I struggle in terms of time to get everything done. I'm really lucky, you know, I'm always busy. So um, I've always got stuff on. And I, I would love to do live streams. I would love to do podcasts, but I simply don't have time. And to be honest with you, there's so many good people who do live streams, um, so I think, you know, the, the, watch them in, in some respects because I don't know whether I'd have anything interesting to say on a live stream but or, or, or on a podcast. Alan keeps going on about doing a podcast because when we're out and we're running and stuff like that, you know, we're, we're chewing the fat and um, he believes that it'd be quite amusing um, because we do have a laugh. We're running with Alan, with Toby and those. We, we do, you know, you know what it's like. You're out running, you talk about all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's maybe something we could do, a podcast further down the line. But... Um, I, I simply, I'll be honest with you, I just don't have the time. Um, yeah, I, ju I just don't have the time. Sorry, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the honest answer. I can't be any, you know me, I'm pretty straight up. So you know, if I could do it, I would, but I, I, honestly, I don't have the time. I love this, it's such a random question. Uh, best running socks. <laughs> it's, it's, 
I liked it. When I got all the questions together, I stuck that in there because I actually thought that was quite a good random one. Uh, best running socks are, for me, are the uh, Chimera socks and the ones from Runderwear. The twin skin Runderwear socks are awesome and the Chimera socks. The Chimera ones are the pink ones that you see if I'm wearing um, and then the Runderwear ones are usually got the blue thing or the grey thing. They're awesome as well. Right, last question, because um, we're basically running out of time. This vlog's been like going on for too long. Uh, but is what camera do I use? And I'm actually going to do a video about this because I've had quite a few questions about, um, particularly on Instagram, about what cameras I'm using and, and the sort of equipment I'm using. And I'm, I think I'm going to do a video on it because you guys have been asking about it. Um, like even like what selfie sticks and things like that I've been using. So I promise you I will do a video. Uh, you may be able to see some of them back there, but we've got a whole host of stuff. We've got GoPros, DJIs, and, and Insta360s, and all that sort of stuff. But um, but yeah, I'll probably go through it. I'm gonna do a video for you on this subject um, at some point. Whew, I'm exhausted. Let me have some of my Tesco Classic Cola. Oh, it's so good. After a run, that, I'm honestly, that is so good, that stuff. It tastes a bit like metallic, but I actually think I like the metallic taste. <laughs> right, anyway, that's the end of the vlog for this week. Woo, bit of a marathon. Um, I enjoyed this, this week, doing the Q&A. So like I said, put in the comments questions that you have for the next time that we do this. Put it with a Q so I can hunt them out between all the other stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed the feedback. I don't know what I've done with it now. On the Puma. Great, great shoe, people. And... Um, Next week, I don't know what shoe I'm going to run in yet. I'm undecided because we're going back up to that 20 miles again. I may actually drag out my old Alpha Flies. I've got my new ones up there ready for race day, but I may actually drag out my old Alpha Flies ready for uh, a sort of test run. I don't know yet. Um, let me know what you would do. Um, but yeah, that's it. Right, end of the vlog. Thank you very much again to everybody who... Uh, gave me questions for this week's video really do appreciate it. apologize to anybody that i did leave out there was quite a lot so again sorry for that i, I tried to sort of put some of the ones together that were a bit similar so uh, apologies if i've missed your question out i will try and add them in but you can always again put it in the comments right the dog is barking outside i don't know what is going on i'm gonna go and find out what buddy's up to so i'll catch you guys next week